Hi, I'm Dr. Catherine, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to treat your dog's hotspot at home. Now, hotspots are really just skin infections, but these things can get very nasty very quickly. If you're noticing that the lesion is spreading quickly, if it's growing rapidly, or if it's already quite large, I strongly recommend having them seen by a veterinarian because they often require additional medication that you cannot obtain yourself from a pharmacy without a prescription, so antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. So we can see here in Delilah what a hot spot looks like. She's developed a hot spot. It's a little less than two inches at the base of her ear. She has a bit of an ear infection and she's been scratching at that ear and that's caused the skin to get really irritated and red and it's um, developed a bacterial infection as a result. So it's developed that hot spot. If you want to check out my video on how to treat ear infections or how to clean dog's ears, you can see the link here. That's a story for another day. But let's chat now about how to treat hot spots. So firstly, we want to keep that wound as dry as possible. And if your dog is nice and chill, then they might let you clip the fur away. That can be a really good way of keeping the wound as dry as possible. My dog and your dog, maybe like mine, they're not chill at all, not going to tolerate clipping. That's okay. Please don't try if your dog's a bit of a stress head like mine. It's just going to stress you out. It's going to stress them out. But if you can, clipping that uh, region of fur can be really great. Second is washing the area. So we want to try and remove as much of that yucky gunk, build up that moisture, that bacteria and yeast infection as possible. Try and wash at least daily, ideally twice daily or more. That's really going to help the body to eliminate all of that bacteria. Now, I like to use an agent called chlorhexidine. It's used very commonly in hospital and vet clinic settings. It is an antimicrobial agent, so it helps to kill that bacteria. You can see here, it's a CVS brand you can pick this up from any pharmacy and what I do is put it in a little cup dilute it with some water and then I get a cotton bud and just dip it in and now we're going to use that to clean Delilah's ear so you want to be gentle uh, the lesions are often very sensitive skins get very tender that, that area will be very tender so please be nice and gentle on your dog we just want to be doing a nice scrub here and then the, the third step after cleaning is uh, medicating and uh, as I mentioned earlier that's normally something that you can only obtain from a vet clinic they may want to give you some oral antibiotics to help kill off that bacterial infection and or some bacterial antibacterial ointment that's what I'm using on my dog Delilah and often they like to give an anti-inflammatory as well because that skin is so irritated it helps to remove all of that inflammation and the last thing to discuss when we're talking about hot spots is what caused them in the first place so the hot spots are caused because the skin has been irritated and your dog's been licking and scratching at it and that's caused bacterial overgrowth often the cause of that irritation is allergy. So if you're noticing a recurrent issue, if your dog continually gets hot spots, then I would recommend chatting to your vet about allergy testing as a way of preventing recurrent hot spots in the future. Now we've discussed how to treat dog hot spots at home. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new dog care videos every week. Thanks so much for watching.